Okay, who needs me to do number 11? Number 12? Number 13? Yes. Um, number 13, so this is page 210, question 13. Okay, the probability that a first year university student will complete four years of study is one third. So complete success is complete. Oh yeah, it does this, yeah, because it's just stupid. Is it back to where it should be now, yeah? I have to move the thing around. Right, so success is completing, right, and your chances of completing is one third. So P is equal to one third, right? Failure is not completing, so that's Q is equal to two thirds, okay? Um, where am I? Number 13. Uh, the probability of first year university student will complete four years of study as one third. What is the probability that of four first year students, so we have N is four, we have four first year students, at least three. Now it's at least three. Right, so at least three means three or four will complete. Would you agree? Three or four, at least three means three complete or four complete, because there's four in total. So three complete or four complete. Would you agree? Right, so remember the formula is N choose R times P to the power of R times Q to the power of N minus R. So for three to complete, that's four, choose three, and you want three to be successful, so that's one third to the power of three and you want one to be fa a failure so two thirds to the power of one or means you add uh, you want four to complete so that's four choose four one third to the power of four times two thirds to the power of zero and you work all that out and you get an answer uh, right uh, one third to the power of Four is one over eighty one. That one's one over eighty one and I think that one works out to be that's definitely one over eighty one. This one four choose that's four multiplied by that's twenty seven twenty seven that's two over eighty one multiplied by four is eight over eighty one. Add those and you get nine over eighty one which cancels down to one ninth. Yeah? Is that okay? Sorry. <coughs> yeah, sorry. The second board. Sorry. when you want, when they give you four and you want three to pass or, do you know, where you, it's not the whole lot of them. Yeah. Right, okay. And it's any three, it's not the first three. Right, okay. You get used to it. So at least three means three or four. Right, okay, number 14. Yes or no? The first bit? The second bit. Right. Okay. So, um, 20 percent. Okay. So this is number 14. Okay. I'll use the same thing. Right. Success is um, a defective bolt. So we'll say success is if it's defective. Right. Failure is if it's not. Right. So a chance of being uh, defective is 20%, which is 0.2, yeah? Is that okay? Right. And therefore, the chance of it being 
not defective is 0.8. Agreed? Uh, the second part says not more than two bolts. Right, okay, so not more than two bolts means it's no bolt, defective, or one bolt defective, or two bolts defective. Agreed? So there's three parts to this bit. So N is, um, out of four bolts, N is four again, right, okay. So you have to do it three times this time, okay? So no bolts defective is um, uh, 420, because you want none of them to be defective. Then it's 0.2 all to the power of zero times 0.8 all to the power of four, right? R means you add. Then you want one bolt defective. So that's four choose one and that's 0 0.2 to the power of 1. So if 1 is defective, you want 3 to be good. So that's to the power of 3. R means you add 2 bolts is 4 choose 2. So you want 2 to be defective, so it's 0 0.2 to the power of 2. And that leaves you with 2 to be not defective, so that's point eight to the power of that. Is that right? Okay. And then you stick that into the calculator and you press equals. I'm not doing that one in my head. He can figure it out. Yeah. Is that okay? Right. That was number 14. Am I doing number 15? What did you get it out? Like you might. Yeah. 15 was okay. So 16. It's okay? 17? 18? Can I do 17? Yeah. Okay. Right. So, question 17 is... Right. Um, the probability that A will win any race is two fifths. So we'd say success is win, and his chance of winning is two over five. So therefore, failure is losing, so his chance of losing is three over five. That's P is equal to two over five, Q is equal to three over five. Right, then it says, number 17, um, what is the probability that in five races, part one is he'll win three? So N is five. Right, you want him to win three, so that's five choose three times um, two fifths. You want him to win three times, and then therefore you want him to lose twice. Into the calculator and press equals, that will give you the answer to part one. Right, part two, um, A will win the first, third, and fifth race, and lose the others okay this is um different okay because we know which races he wants to win it's not win any three races you want him to win the first then you want him to lose the second agreed and then you want him to win the third and then you want him to lose the fourth and then you want him to win the fifth okay so it's not just win any three races, you know the specific races you want him to win. Is that okay? Right. So win the first, he has a, ch a chance of two and five chance. Multiply by N means you multiply. Lose three over five. N means you multiply, then you want him to win, which is a two over five. N means you multiply, then you want him to lose, which is a three over five. And then you want him to win two over five. And you multiply all that out and you get what you get. Is that right? Okay. Well, how is that different? Because they tell you which races they want him to win. Right here, it's win any three races. Okay. So it could be win the first three, lose the second three, etc. It could be any order. Here we have an order, so that's the way you do it out. Is that okay? Are we okay with that? Uh, 
18? Yes, no? No? Yes? yes. Right, okay. So, um, so, number 18. Um, my desks are fogged up. Just give me a minute to unfog. Right, number 18. Out of 2,000 families, so we have 2,000 families, right? Um, the, uh, how many would you, so with four children, so N is four, there's four children, so they have to have four goals of having a child, okay? N is four. How many would you expect, so we're having boys and girls? So it's not in my nature to say success is a boy, so success is a girl, okay? You could also say success is a boy, it's the same anyway. So your chances of having a girl in is one and two. So failure is having a boy, right? So that's one over two. Okay, is that right? So then there's four children, so that means N is four, right? And we want to have two boys. So that means we want to fail twice, okay? So you want to fail twice, so that means you want to succeed twice, agreed? So it's four choose two times a half to the power of two times a half to the power of two. Is that okay? Yes. And work that out, whatever that is. Right, okay, the next one is, you want no girls, right? So that means you want to be successful no times. So that's four choose zero, success a half to the power of zero, and then a ha the other half to the power of, you want four boys, because if you don't have a girl, you have to have a boy. Right, okay, and then part three, at least one boy. Now, at least one boy, would that be, the only way, that could be one take away no boys, would you agree? It could be one take away no boys, would you agree? Right, okay. So that would be one takeaway, no boys would be you want to fail for, or sorry, no boys would be all girls, so that means you want to be successful four times. So half to the power of four times a half to the power of zero. That's one way of doing it, right? Okay, or you could do, where is it, at least one boy, so then you could do one boy or two boys. Or three boys, or four boys. It'll take you a bit longer, okay, but it, you still get the same answer. So this would be four choose one, a half to the power of three, a half to the power of one. This would be four choose two. I don't need to do that out, do I? Either way, you get both, you get the same answers. Okay, this way is just a dentite charter. Is that right? But you'll get the same answer. Are we okay with that? Is it okay that I don't do out the long way? Yes. Yeah. Right, okay, that was, oh sorry, and then it says out of 2,000 families. I never finished it. When you get the probability for here, right, that's a half, that's a quarter by a quarter, which is a sixteenth, and four choose two is four by three, six, six over sixteen. What, what's the answer there? Three eighths, I think, is it? Yeah, so three eighths, and then you just multiply it by 2,000, because they didn't ask you for the probability, they asked you for how many families, okay? So, and whatever the probability here is, you multiply it by 2,000, and whatever the probability ends up here, you just multiply it by 2,000 to find out how many families. Is that all right? Are we okay with that? Right, okay. Um, 19, am I doing it? Right. Okay, number 19, so uh, here we have, in a multiple choice test, each question has three alternate answers with only one answer correct. So that means you've only a one in three chance of getting a question right. Explain, part A of the test consists of four of these questions. Right, okay, so um, explain why a binomial distribution is appropriate. 
because there's, uh, there's two options, uh, correct or incorrect. The probability doesn't change, right? The probability of getting the first one right is one in three. The probability of getting the second one right is one in three. The events are independent. How you get on in question one does not affect how you get on in question two. And there's a set number of questions. There's four questions, is it? Yeah, there's four questions. So there's a set number of questions. So you have to write out all those. There's four, there's four conditions. You need to learn them because they do ask. They have asked this, right? Okay, why is it a, um, a binomial distribution or why is it a Bernoulli trial? Okay, right. If we guesses each answer, Calculate the probability that he gets all answers correct. So, um, so we'll say success is getting them right. Okay, success. So he's a one in three chance of getting it right, hasn't he? Right. Failure is getting it wrong. So he's a two in three chance of getting it wrong. And there's four questions. Agreed? Okay, so uh, the first one is, um, if we guesses each answer, calculate the probability he gets all answers correct. So he's doing four, choose four, he wants them all correct. So that means he means one third to the power of four times two thirds to the power of zero. Right, that's one way of doing it. You could also say that he wants correct and correct and Correct and correct, couldn't you? So that's one third multiplied by one third multiplied by one third multiplied by one third, which is the exact same answer, and it's one over 81. Okay, is that right? So just two ways to do the same thing. Right, when you know the specific qu questions, right, okay, you can do it out like that. Okay, you know, like we did the horses in the race, we knew it was race one, race three, and race five. Okay? Right, so when you know this, which you can do it out the long way like this, right? If it's any any questions, any like any four questions, you see the fact that there was four questions and it was all correct, we can do it out like that if we want. Okay, got it? Right, okay. And um, calculate the probability that it gets the first answer correct. Hence calculate, well, the first answer correct is just one over three, okay? Right, he's a one third chance of getting them all correct. Calculate the probability he gets exactly one answer correct. So that's four choose one. He wants to get one correct, so that's one third to the power of one, and that would be two thirds. That would give him three incorrect, wouldn't it? Right, and that's your answer to that bit. Is that okay? Then. Thirty-two over eighty-one, I think. Right. Okay. Is that right? Okay. Number twenty. Am I doing number twenty? Right. Okay. I I don't think we did. There wasn't very many of the type threes that we we did yesterday. In fact, I don't think there was any. Oh, number 20 was, that was all. Right, okay. So, um, and because I can't give you homework tonight, I'll, we're not going to move on. So I'm just going to ask you to finish those questions now. So 21 up to 25 now. Okay, so page 211, 21 to 25. Okay? Will I put the questions on teams? I will because you've no books. That was, yes. Hang on a second, like that, please.